Hello everyone, you're watching Damage Drop. My name is Drunk Dog, and today we are returning once again to Skyrim, or I should probably say Soulstorm, because that is the, the kind of the area we're in. in. This island in the Dragonborn DLC. Uh, if you guys remember last time, uh, I picked up. I went. I went to this cave right here. And I picked up a book, uh, which I think might have been a part of the main quest. And it uh, it gave me a quest, uh, which you can see a black book, Untold Legends. And I said I wouldn't do this until later, but um, I'm really intrigued to really find out what it's all about. So I, I think we're going to have to do it right now, actually, because I'm just really curious. <laughs> so, uh, to start this quest, I think you have to... To read the book, don't we? Uh, let's go to my items to see if we can find this book. I guess it's, it's in here, alright. Yes, Untold Legends. Let's just read this and see if we can start the quest. There we go. Alright, we are. In this weird realm here, which some I think the game is all saving again because it just there we go. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm a third person for uh, some reason. This is weird chamber. Let's just see what the quest actually says here. Uh, I read the black book called Untold Legends and found myself in Hermes Moros realm of Apocrypha. I shall uncover the legend hidden here, or read the book again to escape. So we read the book to escape last time, but we return and we should we are looking for uh, the knowledge hidden in here. So Hermes Mora, and uh, what the hell is this guy called again? I remember. Okay, I can't. Is that Daedra Princess? I think I think that was called the uh, Daedra Princess, which basically is the kind of demons or. Uh, like uh, they're in the realm of oblivion and stuff like that, so this is going to be fun. I remember, uh, and especially oblivion, the last Elder Scrolls game. There was always these shrines with the data princess and there were really cool quests and stuff. And there, there is in Skyrim as well. Uh, I think. But this is. I don't, I'm not sure if there's anything dangerous in here, but it sure looks like there is. Just what? The, there's like tentacles everywhere. And also this grand soul gems, which is pretty damn good. Uh, oh, oh, it's a it's a magicka fountain here, so we can just replenish our magicka. But uh, we don't really use magic, so doesn't really us, doesn't really help us. Oh, and we we learned this uh, shout last time we played as well, which we're definitely gonna have to try out. Cyclone, I not can't remember what that was supposed to do. Maybe I have to read it up. Let's just check in our magic real quick. We go with shouts and cyclone, All right? All right. So we just we're just gonna create some kind of whirlwind, whirl, <laughs> whirl, blah, blah, blah. whirlwind cyclone or something like that. So uh, let's just see. What the hell is this? Another book here, and oh my god, look at this weird place! Look at this fucking book, Jesus! Alright, so this is chapter 2 of the book, maybe? Let's read it. And I think we just got teleported, yeah. We teleported from down here and, and up here. This place is really weird. <laughs> really like it. There was uh, something different. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that definitely not friendly. The hell is that thing? Sound like? God, look at. Crap, that's not good. 
I missed. God damn. Alright, let's try the cyclone shout on him. Oh, it it does it did something. It did some damage, but not enough. Alright. So we, we killed the giant lurker. Okay, just look at this guy. Hope, uh, can we retrieve some some of our arrows? What was this? Natch leather. Hmm. We got one arrow back, and I have to take this amulet because it doesn't have much weight and it's quite valuable, so it's good. All right, I think we might have to sneak. Ooh. Maybe not. There doesn't seem to be anyone. Okay, so it does. It does seem like the, the two paths to go here. The quest says to go this way. But let's just check uh, what. Let's just at least check what this book says. But this is chapter 3 we went from. Chapter. Chapter 2 was the one we read last time. This might be chapter 4 then. Maybe I should just read chapter. There might be some like hidden stuff over in chapter three. Maybe let's just let's just do it in the the order uh, of the chapters. I think. And uh, let's let's send it, <laughs> go the other way. The the quest markers basically tells us to do so. Oh, fuck! This is not good. I think. Um, there is. <laughs> Where the hell is my children? There you go. Oh, what the f... It's a seeker, whatever that is. Yes. Ooh. Let's kill it. These are... Ooh. What the hell happened? So, that, that was one of those things that attacked us in uh, that cutscene where we met... Uh, at the dragonborn guy. I can't really remember his miracle was, yeah. Can I read this? Alright. Alright. I will take that scroll for now. Ash pile, which is empty. Okay, so. So we just had some loot and enemy up here, here and let's search this. Oh crap, let's see what's in here. A little bit of gold. Did we get anything from this? No. Oh, this was worth a lot, actually. Really, really good value on this. Let's take that. So yeah, that that that's basically the reason you should not follow the quest markers at all times. You gotta go out on your own and explore a bit to really find all the things hidden in the nooks, nooks and crannies. So let's uh, head over to where the quest marker tells us to go. Uh, also, let's just sneak while we read this. So maybe we'll if we end up running in the enemy's face. We're undetected. We did not. We got lucky this time. There seems to be that many enemies in this area, but just be a little bit careful when we go to places like this. There is a. What's, can I do anything with this? No. It seems clear, clear enough at least. Right, so we got a big open room here. Oh yeah, there. It's actually a lot of enemies in here. Uh, where's my bow? There we go. There's some kind of cyclone of paper. There's a lot of. I think is this books? Can't really tell actually. Uh, I think this. I think these. Um, not, not sure if they're books or just like a piece of wood. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but I, I think they might be books. So this some kind of twisted library of some sort, maybe. Let's just shoot this guy. Oh, can this guy go stealth or something? Doesn't matter. This guy is dead at least, and that other guy just disappeared. Um, crap. Well, we're hidden at least, so that's good. Uh, I did, there is one guy over here that will see if we can snap this guy. Oh, 
You got him. He's still alive. Did you make a clone of, of himself or something? I'm not sure. Hmm. Alright. It does seem like he, he clones himself or something when I hit him. Alright, I think that's all enemies. Uh, I am running out of arrows, uh, so just let's just see if there's anyone lying around. No, this is empty. I think I might have to change my arrow type again, uh, which I've been doing a lot in uh, this playthrough. So, this, this, this seems to split up, but only one of them drop something, even though they don't really drop anything at all. <laughs> so maybe they make like a fake version of themselves or something, and... Yeah. Let's see, what can we... Can maybe use this Dwarvic arrows? Only got 11 Daedric arrows, so let's save a little bit of those. Uh, can you go up to Elven, maybe? Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Alright, so the Elven arrows are pretty good, and I think this, that's the only ammo, uh, the arrow type I get uh, enough of that I, I'm able to use them without changing all the time. And I think we want to go in here. Uh, or do we? No, I don't, maybe not. No, oh, alright, so we're gonna go this way, but can I get in here? There is this weird thing there. Weird. Alright, well there is a path here, maybe this uh, will lead to somewhere. Oh, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta lockpick this pod, everyone. Let's see if you can... There we go. <laughs> Confession of a Dunmer Skuma Eater. <laughs> Which basically means a guy is doing some drugs and he's confessing that he is. Okay, at least we have already seen these books. Um, a lot of books here. Advance. Advances in lockpicking. I do have a hundred lockpicking, so I'm not gonna get any skills from doing that. We can read this beggar book, maybe? Alright, no skills there either. But maybe this one will give us something. Damn it. Oh, there's a black soldier in here, so that's good. Uh, well, that seems to be basically everything that was in that little area. Let's head up here. There's not a pod here, which you can just open straight away. That's good. What's this? 16 Accords of Madness. But is this like a music book? No. Alright. The Spell Tome. Uh, I don't really use magic, but. Wait, oh, I don't really use magic, but uh, I just learn them if I can. Let's see if they're. Uh, if there's all right so I'm just gonna sell these other spell tomes here but why not why not even though I'm probably never gonna use those spells on this character because this is not a magic character uh, it's just nice to really learn it so you know why not there's no there's not really any reason not to do it so can I get in here it seems to be like this oops there's this, this, this weird plant things, and they're they're blocked between. They're, they're like closed off. Uh, really weird. Kind of look like a small version of this lamp plant thing here. What's this? Oh, Fountain of Stamina. I do have full stamina though, so I don't really need that, but it's cool that they have that as well. 
This is not a fountain of magicka. Let's get this pod unlocked. Mm, a little bit of gold. Soul gem. Healing potion. Soul trap. I'm not sure if I have this one. Let's take that. Uh, let's take his robe as well. I think there's, this place is probably locked off as... Ooh, let's act with this. Uh, Alright, we open this area right here. And this might actually open uh, one of the other places. Let's try this. Did I open across the room here? Yes, it did. Right, solve the mystery and this uh, ooh. It's a pod here again. Let's get this open. Oh, let's, I read this one. Yes, I have. I pretty much read all the skill books. Unless they have added some new ones. This one should open the one in the middle, I think. Bunch of this magical fountains there. This might actually unlock the door we're supposed to go through, and yes, it does. All right. So that was a little uh, mini puzzle which we actually had to do. Uh, should be good. Oh, seems to be teleporting again. But ooh, it's it's a vessel right there. Opens this in uh, in a really weird way. Oh, this is. Actually, the same bow that I'm using right now. Ebony Bow of Winter, which is a really good bow. It's, uh, it's, uh, let's not take that for now, because I do have a lot of stuff in my inventory. <laughs> so I should probably not pick everything I come across, maybe. I try to stay. Try to just pick up. Just a few stuff, I think, because I really get to. There's not really many merchants on. Uh, not many people I can trade on. Trade with on, on this island here. As far as I've seen. This far in the DLC. Well, it's a pretty long corridor here. It's. Uh, is there anyone in here? Got another closed door here, so probably need to find another one of those plant things. There's also another closed door on the other side, and there's one of those door openers. So there's only one way you can go, and that's onwards, so uh, let's do that. This book is actually pulse, <laughs> pulsating here. Black book, untold legends. Look how freaking massive this is. Alright, let's read it. Oh, holy crap, it's huge. 